Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to walk you through a demonstration where we're going to show the integration between uh, Maxwell Manage uh, visual inspection uh, and that inspection happening through Maxwell Mobile. So just a refresher for these three components. Uh, Maxwell Manage is the enterprise asset management holding all the in, uh, important critical information about your assets. Um, accessible via web interfaces or mobile interfaces. Today we're going to show you how to perform an inspection through Maxwell Mobile. That would include an AI vision inspection as part of it. Uh, just to recap, <clears throat> Maxwell Mobile, as I said, is the mobile interface to Maxwell Manage, um, performing all the operations that uh, are commonly performed by, by a maintenance technician, um, can run on a iOS or Android platforms, and essentially is just the mobile interface to manage. Uh, today we're going to perform an inspection, so this is the inspection over here. Um, all right, then Maximal Visual Inspection is the no-code AI vision platform. So we build some AI models off of images, looking for different patterns and, and things that we care about. Um, and with demonstration, we're going to show you <clears throat> performing a inspection through mobile. That is going to be interfacing with Maximal Manage. Uh, and the AI vision component is going to have a model that's deployed on Maxwell Visual Inspection. Uh, worthy to note in this demo, we don't we are not using Maximal Visual Inspection Mobile, and we're not using Maxwell Visual Inspection Edge. The model are the models are deployed right on the Maxwell Visual Inspection server uh, and uh, configured to be interfaced to Maxwell Manage. All right, demo flow is pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is the mobile worker is going to use Maxwell Mobile. Uh, it's going to operate and uh, open up a inspection form. Um, they're going to uh, <clears throat> update the inspection form with uh, relevant information about the the asset, including an image. That image is then going to be sent to Maxwell Visual Inspection for some inferencing. Maxwell Visual Inspection is going to return that inference results back to uh, manage. And then the inspection form will be refreshed, uh, or you can actually look at the inspection results through Maxwell Manage as well through the web interface. Lastly, is <clears throat> the technician is going to look at their inspection results, uh, and which have be annotated with the visual inspection uh, inference results, and take action uh, as appropriate. Okay. All right. With that, let's get into the demo. So we're going to show a demo of how we can use Maximo Visual Inspection with our Maximo Mobile app, which is the EAM version of Maximo Manage. In this demo, we're going to go through a corrosion pipe inspection. So we'll first create an AI model in Maximo Visual Inspection and then deploy that model and allow our Maximo Mobile user to use that AI model in their inspections form. We have Maximo Visual Inspection in another environment just for today, but um, as a user, you can have all the products in, um, you know, all under the same user. But for today, we're gonna go through maximum visual inspection in this environment. So first, when we create an AI model, we want to tell the model what to look for. So that means we upload a data set of images or videos, and then we label that, those images, and then we train the model and deploy the model. So first I'll go into our data sets page and I've already uploaded about 40 images of pipes with corrosion on it. So I'll go ahead and label all those objects. And what that means is we're telling the model what to look for. We added a label that says corrosion and here I've already pre-labeled that, but let me hide this. So once I hit that, we saw, we can see the corrosion and let me go ahead and 
label this for you just to show what we mean by labeling. So I selected this and I'm able to put labels and capture the fine boundaries around the object. And for this particular use case, we selected this, whereas other use cases, we can just put a box around our object, but I wanted to create that fine object boundary around this. So let me go ahead and delete that. But I went through and already labeled all of our corrosion that we found in our images. Here's another example um, right here. I already labeled this huge portion of corrosion on our pipe. So once you go through and you have all your images labeled, you can go back and augment your data set and say, I only had 40 images, but I can also add more rotation and vertical flip and other augmentations that will be automatically applied to our original 40 images. And then you can see from here, 280 more images were created. So since I've already created this um, augmented data set, I'll just show you quickly. We see here, this is the original image. And then this was slightly rotated. This was flipped and that's how we created our augmented data set. Once you're happy with your data set, you can go ahead and click train model. And again, maximum visual inspection is very much a point and click platform so that our users who know what they're looking for can create AI models. So we have a few models. There's image classification where you wanna classify all the images uh, in your data set or in your inference. And then there's object detection where you want the model to look for specific objects in our image. So this is the model that we are going to use. Since we're looking for fine object boundaries, I want to use Detectron 2 that does both object detection and segmentation, where it's looking for those segmentations around the corrosion object. Then from there, I would go ahead and click Train Model. I've already trained the model, so let me go ahead and find that model that was being already trained. So this we see here is already finished and deployed. So we can see once your model is done training, you can see the score. So there's the accuracy score, the precision scores, the IOU scores, and that basically tells the user, am I happy with this model? Am I ready to deploy it and test it out. If you aren't and you want to increase the accuracy, you can always add more images or different images that shows different examples of corrosion or whatever your use case may be. So I was happy enough that I wanted to test out the model. So let me switch gears and say, I want to deploy this model and use it in our Maximo Manage and Maximo Mobile app. So I already created an inspection in Maximo Manage where I can send to Maximo Mobile. So I'll go ahead and show here. We have some inspections that are in progress. And here we can see our Maximo Mobile app. I can go to my schedule and see the inspections that I need to complete today. So one of those inspections is the corrosion inspections, and we're looking at pipes. So I'll go ahead and start that work order. And in the inspection form, it asks, is this section of the pipe of critical importance? I can click yes. And let's say I'm looking at the pipe right now, and I'm trying to see, is there corrosion or damage on the asset? I can go ahead and click yes. I can then also upload a file. From there, you can either upload a file or you can take a photo. For this demo, I'll go ahead and find a photo in my photo library and upload that. So I have pipe here. And you see here, I've already added a few different photos. 
and I, let's say I want to analyze this photo. That means I'll send this image from Maximo Mobile to our Maximo Visual Inspection Server where I created that AI model and it will do the inferencing right in MVI and send the result back to Maximo Mobile. So I can go ahead while waiting for this here, I can show you this actually in our desktop version of Maximo Manage. And we see here we have some completed inspections. I'll go ahead and click on it and oh, view the results. And so we see here we have our corrosion results right on the page. And another cool thing is you can click on each corrosion object and you can kind of re-annotate your image if it's incorrect. So if you wanted to expand that, you could do that.